As the snow falls, we all know of that one place where the traffic gets really bad on the way up and then back from the mountains. We see this everywhere this time of year. Traffic at a standstill. Now CDOT with a new plan, it says we'll help keep the traffic moving. Marshall Zellinger live again with the details on this project. Marshall. Mark, we've done a lot of stories involving CDOT, and I didn't even know until this morning that the cars you and I drive can have to abide by a chain law for passenger vehicles. And this morning, CDOT put that in effect, and the way you know that you're okay to go without change, you need, a, without chains that is, is to use a quarter and check your tires. Oh boy, here it is, the moment of truth. We met Kim Gallman in the dinosaur lots at I-70 in Morrison. She carpooled to the mountains, but not because her SUV has bad tires. I drove last time, so she drove this time. Kim had no idea CDOT could do what it did for three hours this morning. Check out this tweet. Chain law in effect for passenger vehicles on I-70, Golden to Idaho Springs. One-eighth tread required or chains. Yes, you too, four-wheel drive vehicles. No, I did not know that was possible. I thought that was only commercial vehicles. Is this a threat mm -hmm. or can someone be fined for driving with bald tires? Let's say if you are in an accident and we do pull over and uh, you, the chain law is in effect and you clearly are in violation, it is potentially an opportunity for a citation and fines can run upwards of a couple hundred dollars. CDOT using the passenger chain law after Snowmageddon in February when I-70 was backed up for hours with multiple cars sliding with bald tires. I can see all of George Washington's head. I did a quarter test of some tires at the dinosaur lots. Turn the quarter upside down. If you can see all of George Washington's head, you have less than one eighth tread. Good thing this one's parked here and wasn't driving on I-70 today. This would have needed chains. As for Kim's tires, she was not sure what to expect. It does cover his hair. If anybody knows, it's George Washington. Now you may remember as the penny test, that would actually tell you about one sixteenth of a tread, which is okay. It's the quarter that's going to be one eighth. I haven't checked this car, and since the uh, driver's not back yet, I'm sure they won't mind to know if they have good tires or not. So we take the quarter, it's upside down, get some snow out of this tread, and I know it's going to be difficult for TV's sake, but it is good. It is covering uh, a bit of the hair on the quarter. Reporting live, Marshall Zellinger, 7 News. Good to know, Marshall. Kirsten is back in just a few minutes with details on more snow and cold coming our way. A reminder, you can stay connected anywhere you are by just downloading the 7 News app for your mobile device.